today we are going to start the new chapter two port parameter what is meant by two port network so any circuit or network which has two pair of terminals is called two port network one pair of terminal we apply the input called as input port and from other pair of terminal we observe the output called as output port so the input is applied and this input is processed by this network or circuit and produces the output such type of network we call as two port network now two port network has four variable v1 i1 v2 and i2 v1 is called input voltage i1 is called input current v2 is called output voltage and i2 we call as a output current this two port network has four basic types of parameter z parameter impedance parameter we call as z parameter also we call as open circuit parameter y parameter means it is admittance parameter also we call as short circuit parameter t parameter means transmission parameter also we call as abcd parameters fourth one is hybrid parameter usually we call as h parameters so any two port network has four types of basic parameters now let us see the z parameters how will you define z parameters the z parameters also we call as open circuit parameter because to obtain this parameter we have to keep either the input port or output port open circuit hence it is called as open circuit parameter the standard equation of z parameters are like this v is equal to z into i it's just a kv a uh, uh, ohms law v is equal to z into i so v matrix is formed by the two variable v1 v2 it's a column matrix i matrix is also column matrix formed by the two current i1 i2 and this is a impedance matrix 2 by 2 impedance matrix which contain z11 z12 z21 and z22 if you write this matrix form if you write for equation from this matrix then equations will be like this v1 is equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 this is the first standard equation of z parameter second equation is v2 is equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 these are the two standard equation of z parameter okay which will v1 is expressed in terms of i1 i2 v2 is expressed in terms of i1 i2 which gives us the z parameter now if you want to know what is mean by z11 z12 z21 and z22 okay then we have to consider case first to find z11 and z21 we have to keep i20 that is output port open circuit so when you keep output port open circuit we are getting the three variable v1 i1 and v2 from this three variable we can find out z11 and z21 okay so from this equation 1 z11 is equal to v1 upon i1 when i2 is equal to 0 so z11 is v1 upon i1 when i2 is equal to 0 this is called as input impedance when output port is open then from equation 2 we are getting z21 z21 is equal to v2 upon i1 when i2 is equal to 0 so when i2 is 0 z21 is v2 upon i1 so v2 upon i1 when i2 is equal to 0 this is called forward transfer impedance when output is open okay now to find out the next two parameter z12 and z22 we have to keep i10 so i10 means what case 2 is what it is i10 means input port is open so when you keep input port open and when you measure the values of input current output current and output voltage that is i1 i2 and v2 will get z12 and z22 z12 is equal to from equation 1 z12 is equal to 
v1 upon i2 when i1 is 0 and this is called as reverse transfer impedance when input is open then z22 is equal to v2 upon i2 v2 upon i2 when i1 is 0 this is called as output impedance when input is open this is the ratio of output voltage upon output current and therefore it is called as output impedance this is the ratio of input voltage upon output current input upon output is called as reverse and it is a transfer impedance okay so these are the definition of z parameters okay now next is what we are going to see is what is the condition of reciprocity okay any two port network is said to be reciprocal if excitation to response ratio remains same even if excitation and response are interchange so excitation means input response means output so input to output ratio remains same even if change the input and output of a network even if you interchange input and output let us see this is a two port network here we'll apply the input to the input port and the input is vs and we'll observe the short circuit current at the output this short circuit current will be represented by i2 dash so this is the your response and this is excitation so excitation to response ratio is vs upon i2 dash now if you interchange excitation and response means if you apply the input to this port 2 and if you find out the short circuit current at the port 1 okay then excitation to response ratio is vs upon i1 dash okay for any reciprocal network two port network this two ratio must be same okay so network is reciprocal only if vs upon i2 dash is equal to vs upon i1 dash vs upon i2 dash v equal as a transfer impedance so network is reciprocal when their transfer impedance are equal okay so this is a very very important statement network is reciprocal when their transfer impedances are equal okay now let us see the condition of reciprocity in terms of z parameter okay now we have to find out the what is the when we say that two port network is reciprocal in terms of z parameter so this is a first case okay we'll apply the input to this uh, input port and we'll find out the short circuit current at the output port the standard equation of z parameter will be like this v1 is equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 v2 is equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 now what is given from the network is so v1 is equal to vs input is applied to this port and therefore v1 is equal to vs i2 and i2 dash both are same but opposite direction and therefore i2 is equal to minus i2 dash and since output port is short circuit v2 is zero okay so this given information will put into this two equation and our aim is to find out the ratio vs upon i2 dash so from equation two first of all what we have is vs upon i2 dash ratio we are getting from equation one because v1 is vs here so vs upon i2 dash ratio we are getting from equation one only we have to replace this i1 from equation two so first of all from equation two we'll find out the i1 so uh, given information will put in equation two v2 is zero z21 i1 as it is and i2 is replaced by minus i2 dash from this equation we'll find out i1 so i1 is equal to z22 upon z21 into i2 dash okay this value of i1 will put in equation one and will obtain vs upon i1 dash ratio so equation one becomes now v1 is equal to vs z11 i1 is nothing but this one z22 upon z21 i2 dash plus z12 i2 as it is z12 z uh, z12 this is minus z12 i2 dash sorry it is minus z12 i2 dash because i2 is replaced by minus i2 dash okay and therefore these equations will be like this will uh, i2 dash will take common from this equation so if you take i2 dash common okay i2 dash agar hum log common nikalte hai to it will be like this z11 z22 upon z21 minus z12 into i2 dash okay if you do the cross multiplication then the marader will be the determinant of z matrix so it is del z upon z21 so vs upon i2 dash ratio is del z upon z21 okay 
So when you apply the input to this port 1 and you observe the output a short circuit current at port 2, we are getting the excitation to response ratio is del Z upon Z21. Now we'll interchange the excitation and response. Means we'll apply the input to this port 2 and we'll observe the short circuit current at port 1. Okay. So this is a given uh, net, this is a given and from this given network what are the given conditions are now since we are short circuit input port v1 is 0 and v2 is vs here but i1 and i1 dash both are same opposite direction therefore i1 is equal to minus i1 dash again this given information will put in this two standard z parameter equation and our aim is to find out the ratio vs upon i1 dash so first of all v1 upon uh, vs upon i1 dash ratio we are getting from this equation 2 because v2 will replace by vs so vs upon i1 dash ratio we are getting from this equation 2 if we replace this i2 so first of all from equation 1 we'll find out the value of i uh, we'll find out the value of i2 and then we'll put this value of i2 in equation 1 and we'll obtain the ratio vs upon i1 dash so from equation 1 Okay, V1 is 0, I1 is replaced by minus I1 dash, Z1 to I2 is as it is. From this we will find out the I2. So I2 is equal to this term will take this side and I2 is equal to Z11 upon Z12 into I1 dash. Then equation 2 becomes, equation 2 V2 is replaced by Vh, I1 is replaced by minus I1 dash and I2 is replaced by this term. Okay, I1 is replaced by I2 is replaced by this sum. So I2 when it is replaced by this sum, your right side terms uh, right right side equations completely in terms of I1 dash. Okay, and you are getting here it is Vs upon I1 dash ratio is del Z upon Z12. Okay. Now uh, this is equation 5. For the reciprocal network, these two ratio for reciprocal network, these two ratio must be equal. Okay. So if you see both the right hand side of both the equations. The numerator are same but denominator is different. So the condition for reciprocity is the Z12 must be equal to Z21. Okay. Now next is the condition of symmetry. Okay. Network is said to be any two port network is said to be symmetrical if V1 upon I1 ratio must be equal to V2 upon I2 ratio when other port is open circuit. Network is reciprocal when input impedance is equal to output impedance when other port is open circuit. So this is the definition of symmetrical network. Okay. Now let us see the condition of symmetry in terms of Z parameter. Okay. Equation of Z parameters we have written here V1 in terms of I1, I2 and V2 in terms of I1, I2. First of all we have to find out V1 upon I1 ratio by keeping I2 is equal to 0. So case first. When I2 is 0, that means when output port is open circuit, from equation 1, we are getting V1 upon I1. So when I2 is 0, V1 upon I1 ratio is Z11. Similarly, to find out V2 upon I2 ratio, we have to keep I1 equal to 0. So case 2 is when I1 is 0, matlab when input port is open circuit. Okay. From equation 2, we are getting V2 upon I2 ratio. So V2 upon I2 ratio when I1 is 0 is nothing but Z22. Therefore, condition for symmetrical network is Z11 is equal to Z22. So when input impedance is equal to output impedance, when other port is open circuit, then we say that two port network is symmetrical.